Hello everyone, it's Monday and I'm starting my day off today by going to the library. I finished my Cars MCAT book yesterday, so I picked up, ooh, I picked up the biology book, so I'm going to review that and it's really thick and heavy compared to the Cars book. And now I have a full day ahead of me. I signed up to volunteer at Miriam's Kitchen. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically just a soup kitchen um, or a place where uh, people without shelter can go find support and different resources to help them out. That's where I was volunteering while I was at college and I wanna go back and volunteer there. Again, it's right next to the hospital. So I signed up for a two hour shift today, meal prepping. So I'm basically helping to make food for dinner. Then after that, I'm gonna have about an hour of free time. And then at three, I'm gonna start my shift and work until 3.30 in the morning. Now I'm gonna be on my way to DC. Hopefully there are some parking spots in this parking garage. So some of the requirements they have for working at the kitchen is to wear a sleeved shirt, um, pants that are longer th uh, than your knees, and then the other thing is to wear a baseball hat and basically have your hair up. So I'm done with my two hour shift in the kitchen. Um, they're making tacos today, so it was a lot of beans, chicken, potatoes, everything like that. It's a really cool organization and I really like coming here. I started when I was in college and I really like their mission, um, trying to end chronic homelessness. And not only do they, like I've mentioned before, just provide homeless people with food, and shelter for some time, but they only, but they also give them resources. They um, provide them with barber services and even give them like manicures and stuff like that. So they look presentable. They help them with their resumes and cover letters. So they really get them started um, to go out there and apply for jobs and feel confident and be prepared. So I do like that it's a whole system that they have in place. And they also have people helping out with uh, finding actual apartments for them. Once they do get started with a job, they try to help them get out of the homeless situation and get them situated in an apartment. And I actually have met people here that used to be homeless and told me that they now live in their own little apartment and make their own money and how happy they are and everything. So now that my shift is over, I have a little less than an hour to get to the hospital, which is really close, but I basically have to find parking and maybe I'll just study a little bit and then I'll go into my shift.
been a long day already and I have one hour left. So close. I can't wait to finally get home. It's so late. I'm not used to working three to threes. I've been working 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So this is a little bit tough. Back for my 11 a.m. shift today. I got less than six hours of sleep yesterday, so I'm a little bit sleepy, but hopefully it's gonna be a good day. Started parking in these residential areas, and every day I come back from shift, I basically hope that my car is still actually there. Finally going home. I was all over the place with my shift today. Started off as runner, went into green zone, then I had to sit, then I went back to green zone. So I was pretty much all over the department and finally going home and I'm gonna be back tomorrow again. Really hoping that my car is still there waiting for me. Is this a Sims reference? Does anyone know? Wednesday and my day starting off a little bit later. I just had breakfast and I basically sat down to review some psych and chem because tomorrow I want to take the baseline um, practice MCAT that I was talking about to see where I stand. So I'm just trying to review a bunch of concepts before that and in about like less than two hours I'm gonna go to my shift and this is gonna be my last shift for the week. So until it starts, I'm basically just going to keep on reviewing and yeah. A game that I play is how close can I cut it without actually being late to work. Looking for beds, always looking for beds. Goodbye for the next four days. Today turned out to be a really rough shift. There were so many people. The hospital was moving so slow. There were so many sick people that needed to go upstairs and upstairs didn't have any free beds. So it was slowing down the whole waiting time of the emergency room. So at one point there were around 40 patients waiting in the waiting room and the time the longest waiting time was around nine hours. Today is my free day and I'm basically gonna be packing because I'm going out of town tomorrow morning. So my plan for today is to pack and then I'm gonna be taking the MCAT diagnostic test that I got from Next Step just to see where I'm at. So I'm actually about to start it right now. So I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I finally finished and I'm about to check what score I ended up getting. Let's see. All right, so I got a 490 and I'm really not that happy with that score because that's how I was scoring originally when I did a, a Kaplan practice exam in the beginning. And like I mentioned before, that was before I even took a couple of the classes that I already took and before I started reviewing and doing practice questions. So now that I've started to review, do practice questions, finished almost all my pre-med classes, and I'm scoring the exact same thing is a little concerning. This is my um, result section. So I'm gonna go zoom out a little, but it gives you the percentage of questions you got right and wrong in each section. Um, the ones you got right in terms of difficulty, then basically the breakdown of each like section like based on concepts and that's really cool. So I definitely am disappointed by the way I scored on this exam. Even while I was answering the questions, I felt like I knew what I was doing and I thought I was gonna score a lot better and I felt like I've improved as I was answering the questions. So I am disappointed that I scored the exact same score that I scored when I took this diagnostic test 
a different diagnostic test uh, a couple months ago but that's the reason you take it a diagnostic test is supposed to show you where you're at and point to your weaknesses which this um exam does really well and breaks it down really well so i'm definitely going to follow this and i'm going to be packing the rest of the day today because i'm leaving but tomorrow i'm going to sit down and basically go through each section review each question and see where i really have to study and yeah it's only it's only up from here you know i can't can't let this get me down gotta keep going and just gotta focus and study more study harder and yeah but anyway so i wanted to do this vlog this week it's kind of a shorter vlog but i wanted to kind of show you my week when it's a little more condensed with my shifts being back to back and then having to study and basically um doing a diagnostic exam and seeing where i stand so i wanted to film a vlog of all of that so thank you for being with me another week and i'm gonna see you guys next time bye